Hello, I'm Desmond Zemmett, the very proud principal of Gorakin Public School. The focus of today's school orientation session is to provide detailed information about behaviour management at Gorakin Public School. My co-presenter today is Michael Pratt, Deputy Principal Wellbeing. Good morning, Michael. Thanks, Jess. I'm really looking forward to meeting all of our new students and parents, and I can't wait to help all our incoming students transition to our wonderful school. Here at Gorakin Public School, we've worked extremely hard to develop a behaviour management system that is clear and consistent in regards to our school rules and values. All of our staff at Gorakin Public School have high expectations of our students in regards to being safe, respectful learners. In 2020, Gorakin Public School implemented an innovative model for supervising the playground during break times. All teachers now run structured activities rather than just roving. These activities are strategically positioned so the teachers will be visible to all students in that area and to also allow the teachers to monitor the whole area. The activities are displayed daily on a TV to let the students know what activities are running for that session. Teachers teach the skills, communicate the rules and manage any issues throughout the activity. This can have an added benefit of teaching students social skills, such as conflict resolution at the time of need. This initiative allows students with additional social needs to be targeted for individual programs or activities to support their behavior in the playground. Our playground structures also make it easier for children to make friends without feeling anxious about the playground. Since starting this program, the teachers have reported that students are coming back into the classroom settled and ready to learn. They have also reported that the activities have provided the staff and students with a fun way to develop positive relationships. Every classroom at Gorakin Public School has a set of behaviour circles that are used to give students verbal and visual reminders to make positive choices in regards to their behaviour. The circles give the students multiple opportunities to reflect on their behaviour and follow school rules. The behaviour circles have now also been linked to our positive reward system. Every student starts the day on good choices. Gorakin Public School has developed a levelled system where all students start the year on a neutral level. Throughout the year, incidents of continued disobedience or aggressive behaviour will move the students to orange level, red level and ultimately being suspended. If a student is consistently displaying inappropriate behaviours or, or are aggressive, they will receive a long time out. A long time out is where a student needs to be removed from their classroom or the playground and sent to the planning room. There are two types of long time outs. The first is aggressive behaviour. This is for more serious behaviours needing immediate action and consequences. The second is continued disobedience. This is where a student has been given multiple opportunities to reflect on their behaviours and follow school rules. This is where the behaviour circles come in and are used to give students verbal and visual reminders to make positive choices in regards to their behaviour. Students may be placed on an orange or red level if they continue to display inappropriate behaviour. If a student receives three long time outs within five school weeks, they'll be placed on either an orange or red level. Students can also receive an immediate level if they display behaviours that are aggressive and match the description on the GPS behaviour management plan. Throughout this process, students are given multiple levels of support, including regular commu communication with parents to correct the behaviour. All incidents that occur in the playground are referred to the planning room. Any student has, who has received a long time out, orange or red level will need to attend the planning room at lunch the following day. During planning room sessions, the students will be given opportunities to discuss the incident and to develop strategies to avoid future incidents. So that's the structure covered. So thanks, Michael, for that. Um, in addition to this, we have a positive reward system at Gorakin Public School, which is implemented um, across the course of the year. Students receive points on a daily basis for displaying positive behaviour in the classroom, playground and during specialised lessons. As the points accumulate throughout the year, students are provided with rewards as they reach a new level. These reward days are scheduled for weeks 5 and 10 of every term. 
Milestone awards are presented at each school assembly. They will be presented with a silicon wristband representing the level that they have achieved. The kids are really proud of these wristbands and wear them um, with delight. Parents will receive daily feedback on how their child has performed during the day using the free app Class Dojo. You will receive information about how to set up this in your first week of school next year. Gorokan Public School isn't just a place to grow academically, it's a place to grow as a person. When children feel safe, supported and connected to their school, they're better equipped to succeed academically and in life. In 2020, Gorokan Public School decided to make a big commitment to developing the social and emotional skills our students by implementing the Second Step program. Second Step is a developmental and sequential curriculum designed to promote school and life success and to prevent problem behaviours. The Second Step program teaches skills in the following four areas. Skills for learning. Students gain skills to help themselves learn, including how to focus their attention, listen carefully, use self-talk to stay on task and be assertive when asking for help with schoolwork. Empathy. Students learn to identify and understand their own and others' feelings. Students also learn how to take another's perspective and how to show compassion. Emotion management. Students learn specific skills for calming down when, when experiencing strong feelings such as anxiety or anger. And problem solving. Students learn a process for solving problems with others in a, in a positive way. Second step is taught in every class every day and over the whole year. There are also some home links that will be introduced next year. Home, link, home links are simple, fun activities for you and your child to complete together. They are a great way for you to understand what your child is learning and for your child to show you what he or she knows. Thanks for joining Mr Pratt and I for today's information session. We understand that we've covered a lot of ground. We certainly don't expect you to have taken everything in. What we do hope is that you have taken away the following key messages. That the school has very clear expectations for student behaviour. That we have a system in place to keep students on track and parents informed. That proactive programs are in place to teach students important social skills. And that students who make good choices are acknowledged and students who need help are supported. We believe that clear is kind and for this reason we explicitly teach the students our systems, our expectations and the skills to support their positive and successful engagement at school. We hope that you found this presentation useful and informative and we look forward to sharing our next transition video with you in which we will share information about student wellbeing and learning support. Together we can make a difference.